Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter nine, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So what we're doing is two longer problems, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the first set with you, and then you guys are gonna do the second set. Okay, so we're gonna start. And first, it's giving us all of these numbers up here, and it wants us to come over here and for each one of them to put an X over the right one. Okay. So one quarter. Now I'm gonna cross them off as I go because otherwise I'm gonna wind up using one twice and it's gonna throw my answer off, okay? So another one quarter, three quarters, one half, one quarter, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, one half, one quarter, one half, and one half. Okay, so now that I have all those done, I have four of each one. Okay, so this wants to know what the combined weight of the half pound bags is. Well, these are the half pound bags, and when you have one, two, three, four halves, Think of four halves of a sandwich. If you put two of those halves together, you have two. So two LB is pounds. Okay. What is the combined weight of the three quarter bags? Okay, well, let's do it. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go three quarters times one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna put that four over a one because four over one is the same thing as four. And now I can cross cancel. Those can now become ones and then multiply straight across. So it's gonna be three, three pounds. Okay. What is the total weight of the trail mix used in all of the bags? So we have three, we have two, Okay, so we have this one, we have this one. Now we need to do the same for this one, okay? So one quarter times one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna put that over a one, okay? So now I can cross cancel, and those both become ones, which means we get one over one, which is just one. I'm gonna add that one together. Three plus two is five, plus one is six. Six pounds. Okay, that's what you guys are going to do for these ones. Okay, you're going to go ahead, you're going to add them all up. Okay, you know, make sure that when you're putting your X's that you cross them off as you go so that you don't miss one and add one or subtract or not add one that you need to. Okay, so you are going to do six, seven, eight, and nine. Those all have to do with this chart right here. Okay, all right. We're going to go into the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay. And then we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. The so number three says Ramona had eight and three eighths of ribbon. She used two and a half inches for an art project. How many inches of ribbon does she have left? Find the difference in simplest forms. So we're probably going to have to reduce, guys. Okay. So now, we have eight and three eighths, and we're gonna take away that two and a half, okay? So we're gonna do dead man. Actually, you know what, I take it back. We're not gonna do dead man. Sorry about that, guys, okay? We are going to find the lowest common denominator for our two fractions. Let me do this on scrap paper now that I have confused y'all telling you we're going to do dead man so eight and three eighths subtract two and one half okay so we're going to find a common denominator well a common denominator between two and eight is going to be eight okay so we are going to have eight and three eighths because this is already eight and then our two and a half I had to multiply the bottom by four to get to eight so now I need to multiply the top by four and I'm going to get four eighths, okay? 
So now you can see that three can't take away four. Okay, so I need to borrow one. Making that a seven. And I'm going to add an eight over eight because eight over eight is equal to the one that I borrowed. It's equal to one. So it's equal to the one that I borrowed and the denominator stays the same. Okay. So now I'm going to have seven and 11 over eight minus two and four over eight. Okay. So now seven minus two is five. Okay. 11 minus 4 is 7, and my denominator stays the same. So 5 and 7 eighths, and it's being measured in inches. Okay? Make sure you're showing your work, guys. Okay? Not the dead man I did originally. Okay? All right. Number 4. It says Ben bought a half pound of cheese for three sandwiches. If you put the same amount of cheese on each sandwich, how much cheese will each sandwich have? Okay, so one half pound, and he is dividing that by three. Now I'm gonna put that three over a one because it's still equal to three, okay? Well, when we are dividing fractions, we keep, we change, and we flip, okay? So now one times one is one, and two times three is six. One sixth of a pound. Ah. There we go. They can fix anything. Okay. All right. Make sure that you show your work though. Okay. All right. Now, what is 92.583 rounded to the nearest tenth? Well, the tenth is where you would write a dime in money. So it's going to be that first spot after the decimal. Okay. I'm going to zoom that in a little bit for y'all. Okay. That first spot after the decimal. Okay. We're going to look at the next number, which is an eight. If it's five or bigger, we need to round up. Okay, well, it's an eight. That's definitely bigger than five. So we're going to round that five up to a six. So it's going to be nine, two, point six. Done. Okay. Oops, sorry, guys. Okay. When I zoom in, I've got to move my paper around more. I always forget that. Okay. In Yoshi's garden, three quarters of the flowers are tulips. Of the tulips, two thirds are yellow. What fraction of the flowers in Yoshi's garden are yellow tulips? Well, three quarters are tulips, and two thirds of them, of means multiply, okay, are yellow. What fraction of the flowers in Yoshi's garden are yellow tulips? So let's cross cancel. So I see two numbers, a top and a bottom, that are identical, so those get to become ones. And two goes into two once, and two goes into four twice. So now when I multiply straight across, one times one is one, and two times one is two. So half you can put of the flowers. Word problem, word answer, guys. Okay. All right. Thanks for hanging out. 9.1, come on back for 9.2. See you soon.